Welcome to the second series of the e-sessions of the second module on brand marketing. This is for the students of semester 9 of LJ Integrated MBA. I, Dr. Sushmita Sugala, in this session, we will be discussing defining, designing and learning the implementation of brand mantras. In the previous session, we had discussed how to identify and establish brand positioning. Brand mantras is another strategy which enhances brand positioning. Let us begin the session by first defining a brand mantra. A brand mantra is a short phrase, three to five words maximum, that summarizes the entire positioning platform, which includes the competitive frame of reference and the points of difference, the points of parity and everything else about your brand into one single thought. This is the heart and soul of the brand. It is the spirit of brand positioning. It is the brand promise and it is the brand essence. Let us explain with the McDonald example of mental maps. Whenever we think of McDonald's, the first thing that comes in is the golden arches. Now, besides these golden arches, what else does come to your mind? First, it is fun with family and kids, McDonald toys and dolls. The other thing that comes in is the Ronald playground, birthday parties, warm and friendly atmosphere. These are all which are linked to the food value meals, hot, fresh and consistent quality, value portion, price and the promotions. Besides the value services which is given, clean, fast and convenient services. Now, the family happy meals in a friendly, warm atmosphere also is enjoyed by the children. A brand mantra, while being designed, it has to take into consideration that it is able to define a brand in 30 seconds. What we call is the elevator speech. It is the brand essence which captures the core benefits of the brand. It is a brand promise, what the brand promises to deliver. Now brand mantras must therefore economically communicate what brand is or what it is not. Brand mantras also help understand what the brand stands for. These mantras are used to decide or design on the basis of brand functions, descriptive modifiers and emotional modifiers. Now, what do these terms stand for? Brand function. Now this, it describes the nature of the product or service. You could also describe it as the experience or benefits the brand provides. For example, in McDonald's, it is food. Nike, it is performance. Disney, it is entertainment. Now the descriptive modifier, this further clarifies the nature of the product or service. Again, let's take the same example. In McDonald's, it is the family. With Nike, it is athletic. Disney, again, it is family. Now, when I look at the third uh, function, it is the emotional modifier. This is another qualifier on how does the brand provide benefits and in what ways. Again, with the same example, McDonald's, here under emotional modifier, it stands for fun. For Nike, it is authentic. For Disney, again, it is fun.
brand mantras find the power from the collective meaning only that brand would be excelling on all the dimensions it can also capture the points of difference which is unique about the brand the brand function guides the categories in which the brand can extend to help in rapid growth this table this table now explains the brand mantra in terms of brand functions descriptive modifier and the emotional modifier for the three companies that we have been discussing that is mcdonalds nike and disney implementing brand mantras brand mantras should be developed at the same time as brand positioning now in brand positioning uh, this is generally a few statements about the product but in brand mantras the pop and the pods are identified that is the points of parity and points of differences need to be identified the key criteria of the points to be considered are that you should be communicating the uniqueness of the brand in the categories that is it is defined further simplifying the communication it should be short crisp and vivid as well as memorable thirdly it should inspire one should find points which is personally meaningful to the people so that it inspires them to buy or to relate to it the most powerful brand mantras become part of the dna of the organization and are used to guide everyday decisions about strategy user experience voice and a host of other things the brand mantra becomes a touchstone that is returned to over and over again especially when the decision starts getting tough for the marketer or for the company these are the books which have been referred for this session